Inhalants are vapors from toxic substances which are inhaled to make you get high quickly. There are more than a 1,000 household products that can be abused as inhalants such as amyl nitrite, poppers, or whippers just to name a few of them. Most of these produce effects similar to anesthetics which slow down the body's functions. After an initial high and loss of inhibition comes drowsiness, lightheadedness and agitation. The inhaling of fumes from chemicals such as incense, oils, resins, spices and perfumes to alter consciousness, or as part of religious ceremonies, dates back to ancient times in Egypt, Babylonia aka Iraq, India and China. In the early 1800s, nitrite oxide, ether and chloroform were the anesthetics used commonly as intoxicants. Nitrous oxide was regarded as a CHEP substance for alcohol and was popularized by British scientist Sir Humphrey Davy. The use of anesthetics for recreational purposes continued throughout the 19th century in Europe and the US. Ether was used as a recreational drug during the 1920s Prohibition era, when alcohol was made illegal in the US. By the 1960s, the practice of solvent sniffing had spread across a wide variety of commercial products including paint and lacquer thinners, nail polish remover, shoe polish, lighter fluid, spray paint and others. Inhalant use can cause damage to the heart, kidneys, brain, liver, bone marrow and other organs. They can starve the body of oxygen and force the heart to beat irregularly and more rapidly. Users can experience nausea and nosebleeds and lose their sense of hearing or smell. Chronic use can lead to muscle wasting and reduce muscle tone. The poisonous chemical found in inhalants can gradually damage the lungs and the immune system. So don't take this dangerous drug because death can occur the first time or the 100th time in inhalants.